Okay, we have here today another integral from the UNSW integration B from 2020. This was problem four. We have the integral of the square root of e to the x minus one dx. Okay, I don't see that many options or different ways to approach it. We need to do, it looks like we need to do a u substitution on this, but there's nothing outside of the radical. I think what I'm gonna do is actually just make my u equal to the whole thing. So I'm just gonna set my u equal to the square root of ex minus one. And then from here, what I want to do is actually solve for x. So we'll square both sides and we'll have u squared is e to the x minus one. Then we can get the one over here on this side and write it as u squared plus one equals e to the x. Take natural log on both sides. When we take natural log of e to the x, we're just going to have x on one side. And then here we're going to get natural log u squared plus one du. <laughs> no. <laughs> Then from here, we'll just go ahead and take the derivative. So on the left, we'll get dx. Taking the derivative of this thing is gonna give me one over u squared plus one. Then we need the chain rule. Derivative of this is gonna give me two u, and then we'll have a du on the end. Okay, so we'll just go ahead with this now. So again, this whole thing's u. dx is this, so we'll write this as two u du over u squared plus one. Then just cleaning this up a little bit, I'm gonna take a two, take this two out front of the integral u times u gives me u squared, and it's just gonna be over u squared plus one. The way I like to do this, if I add a one to this, then we're just integrating one, but we don't wanna change it, so I'll subtract one. So then rewriting that, I'm gonna split this in the two integrals. So the first one is just gonna be two times, this here is just gonna become one du. Distributing two to minus one gives me minus two of du over u squared plus one. So we'll just go ahead and integrate now. So two, integrating one's gonna give me u. So we're gonna have two times u here, minus two. This here is just gonna be arctan. So what we get is we're gonna have just arctan of u. And so to finish it, we just need to back substitute right here. So putting it all together, now we're gonna have two square root of e to the x minus one minus two arctan of our u, which is just gonna be square root e to the x minus one. Put a plus c on there and that's it. Okay, good problem from UNSW. I'm gonna to try to do some more of these. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.